Hello there traders and welcome to the, another update on the market. Uh, for today I decided to cover USD versus Japanese Yen. I will speak about uh, uh, dollar index, crude oil, gold and Bitcoin versus US dollar. I will start with the USD versus Japanese Yen first. So basically what I found in the 4 hour time frame is that we got the double bottom formation here. Um, um, we got a lows at 121.32 and then we got this high that we're actually holding above for already a few days which is a basically a good sign that we can continue this <clears throat> upside cycle and that we can see eventual upside continuation. So my advice is basically to watch for buying opportunities on the intraday pullbacks with potential upside objectives at 123.80 and 124.15. Speaking of the dollar index overall, dollar index is in the consolidation and we are basically trading in consolidation for about three to four weeks. But uh, speaking of the higher degrees, we have the upside trend intact. So as you see, we have defined trading range between the 99.40 and the 97.70. So far, we are getting closer to the 99.30, 99.40. So I expect still more um, upside movement to retest the major highs here. Speaking of the crude oil, um, to update you of my previous uh, forecast, uh, we saw that there is a basically divergence in the ship and slowdown in the tempo, so we expected a rally towards this uh, recent swing high, so we achieved that 104.60, and now we're doing some kind of consolidation here. From my perspective, um, the next level to watch on the upside, you know, is at 10793. So we'll see how the market will react here. I don't see any reversal at this stage to the downside. So we can also check lower time frames. It looks like also that we are creating some kind of the ABC here and that we can expect higher pri uh, higher prices on the crude oil. So watch for buying opportunities on the crude oil. Speaking of the gold market, the gold market is still in, in the heavy consolidation and that is basically ready for, a, I will say, for a few weeks. We are trading in this giant consolidation and we are somewhere in the middle, right? So it's a very, very a sideways market and uh, if we don't see the breakout of either 1965 or the low in 1891, uh, this can just keep, uh, and price can, can just sit inside of this big trading range. So from my perspective, watch for the breakout either of this low to confirm some further downside, some bigger downside movement, maybe even 1830, 1820, or wait for the breakout of this 1963 to confirm maybe the rally towards the 2005. And speaking of the Bitcoin, since like Bit Bitcoin basically regained this, so it retested this uh, resistance, this was a basic level of this contraction. We retested that and then market started to rally but found sellers, some aggressive sellers, and now basically doing the consolidation. Uh, still, the trend is bullish and um, I can see if we, if we can take this supply trend line, we can attack and maybe make some pullback, we can attack higher prices and eventually attack uh, 51,900. That's a one option. So to watch for breakout of supply trend line and to see if market can break and then hold above um, for um, for the higher prices. So that will be all for this um, uh, update. I hope that you did enjoy. Um, have a good day. Trade safe as always and see you tomorrow morning.